burned in Palapena County, Texas, about three miles west of Lipan in an old farmhouse. After volunteering for the military in late 1943, James Eugene Odom reported for active duty on January 2nd, 1944. He was inducted into the U.S. Navy and soon after sent to San Diego for basic training. But it was about three weeks and five days. They were so in need of replacements. They were getting them killed, I guess, faster than they could round them up, but anyhow. Upon his completion of a quick basic training, Gene was assigned and deployed aboard the USS Hyperion, a substandard naval supply ship destined for the war-torn Pacific. You know, my eyes are this big. Lord, I've never seen that much water. I've never seen anything bigger than a rowboat. So to take me and put me there, it was exciting. Over the next few months, Gene docked at countless ports across the Pacific, unloading crucial supplies to assist in our war efforts against Japan. And we'd load up with food and, and clothing and other items and uh, ammunition and what have you. So we were just a big grocery truck. In September of 1944, Hyperion was assigned to a 33-ship convoy designated 78.8 Reinforcement Group. The destination, Leyte Gulf. The mission was to invade and liberate the Philippines from Japanese occupation. And so, on October 17th of 1944, America's Battle of the Philippines commenced. The campaign began with Leyte Gulf in which 3,000 service members were killed in the first 12 days of fighting. That was the largest flotilla of ships that had ever happened anywhere on Earth at that time. And we must have had 80 or more ships in that bay. In her efforts to supply our land and shore operations, Hyperion would involuntarily engage and a total of 37 Japanese air attacks. And uh, we got credited with shooting down three planes, my ship did. But you know, when you get out there and you've got 40, 50 ships, so I don't know how authentic that was because we were not a fighting ship. After two grueling weeks unloading cargo, Hyperion exited the bay and steamed south. Luckily, Gene didn't leave Leyte empty-handed. Yeah, I took it off of one of those uh, Japs, but this was hooked on his belt, and uh, I didn't think he needed it any longer. In late April of 1945, Hyperion loaded up 6,500 tons of Army engineering equipment and soon after steamed for Okinawa. It was a, a, a little different operation there. We didn't, we didn't fire up even in Okinawa our guns. So actually Okinawa was a cakewalk compared to Leyte. Yeah, Leyte was a bad one. It took 18 days to discharge her cargo, and after a light bombardment by Japan, Hyperion was back at sea. As war drew to a close, Hyperion sailed for San Francisco on August 4, 1945, ending two years of continuous service in the Pacific. In August of 2017, I was contacted by the Gary Sinise Foundation's Soaring Valor program. Soaring Valor serves to provide our World War II veterans with a trip to the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. And so, after several weeks of planning, an all-expense paid trip was hosted for Gene Odom and I. We were accompanied by his wife and youngest daughter for three days in the Big Easy.
I enjoyed it. They've got a wonderful display, and I especially liked the people that were there. They were courteous, knowledgeable, willing. It was an excellent day. I'm just uh, glad that I was able to talk him into coming down here. It's been very nice. Uh, I enjoyed the uh, all the uh, exhibits today, and I was so glad that Jean has gotten to see this. Well, are you glad you came to New Orleans? Oh yeah, I'm glad I came. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. It's, there's nothing been a, a, any other way but enjoyable all the while.